Hello, everybody, and happy post Memorial Day. Dave Schur, Vice President at Sorbin Technologies, wanted to discuss today ion exchange resins. The reason we want to present them is they are a great alternative to utilizing silica based resins. Ion exchange uh, resins offer great uh, advantages, especially when you want to scale up. And we'll get into that a little bit later, but um, right off the bat, ion exchange resins offer great pH stability, um, where a silica base typically don't. Typically, you could go up to around uh, 8 or 9. Some you can go up a little bit higher. Um, some actually can go up to 12, but only to do sh short runs. Uh, if you wanted to do real good production-based chromatography, uh, we would definitely suggest ion exchange resin. So first of all, great pH stability. Uh, second of all, um, utilizing a wide array of solvents. You can use both aqueous and non-aqueous. Um, they're regeneratable, so if you are going to scale, um, where a silica-based resins, if it's just silica or even reverse phase resins, where you have the issue of irreversible binding with polymerics that are regeneratable. And so you can clean them, reuse them, and in some cases we've seen customers have over a 20 year lifetime. So again, regeneratable. Um, wide range of selectivity, both um, hydrophobic, hydrophilic, different ion exchanges, uh, to offer you great selectivity for both oligos, um, amino acids, um, nucleosides, and natural products purification. Um, we work with Mitsubishi, they're based in Japan, and we have a great relationship with them. So we can help you when it comes to selecting the proper resin for your application as well as they're available in everything from HPLC columns to do method development, prep columns, and then a wide range of particle sizes all the way up to full scale process where uh, you don't have any back pressure issues. Um, backbones of polymerics are typically polystyrene divinyl benzene, which offers um, reverse phase characteristics. Also, brominated, which offers a little bit even higher um, hydrophobicity. Um, we have methacrylate backbone, which acrylic methacrylate offers a hydrophilic ability for you to separate. Uh, they come in a wide array of pores and a wide array of particle sizes to really meet anything from a small molecule application to a large molecule ap application. Uh, you can separate by phase, by charge, and even pore size to give you uh, size exclusion characteristics. Um, they're available in weak anion, uh, strong anion, weak cation, uh, strong cation, and uh, they offer just for you uh, a great alternative. Once again, uh, they are available in food grade, so if you're doing a food grade application or even uh, natural products purification, this would be a great uh, resin to offer. Um, you can contact us and we'll be glad to give you the optimal resin selection for your application and set you up with samples for evaluation. Um, Another interesting thing is they're autoclavable. Some of these are autoclavable, so you don't have to worry about bacteria buildup, um, especially if you're doing uh, FPLC with these. So as I said, um, ion exchange resins offer a great alternative, makes you think more in technicolor when it comes to doing your separation. And that's how what we want you to think. When you've got those challenges in front of you, to make it really rock and roll, to make it work, this is just more spices on your spice rack for you to make it rock and roll. So if you have any questions, give us a call. We're here to make it work for you. Have a great day. Thanks.